Hello there, it's Samantha, and today I'm coming to you with a very exciting video for me, just because it's been a long time since I've done one of these. Not really, it's only been two months, but it feels like such a long time. It's also just been a long time since I've just sat down and filmed a video and like just talked until like I lost my voice. Unfortunately, the day I'm filming this, my exams are not over yet, but by the time you see this, my exams will be over. I will have done my last exam. The day before this goes up, I will have done my last exam. I cannot wait. It is going to be a glorious day when it, they are finally over. And today I'm coming to you with my April and May wrap up and book haul. I'm very excited to be filming this. I bought way too many books within these two months, mainly because there were a whole bunch of new releases which I already had pre ordered, which I'm super excited to get to. Unfortunately, I haven't got to them yet because, I mean, exams, come on. During these months, unfortunately, I haven't read very much, but you know, exams. That's just my explanation for everything at the moment. It's exams. So I'm going to start off with the books that I read just because that's going to be really short. I can just get that out of the way and we can move on to the haul which is like more exciting anyway. So the first book that I read in April was the second book in the Lux series which is Onyx by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I really liked this book however I did not like it as much as the first one. I ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars just because there were some annoying things that happened. To be honest I can't really remember what happened that much because I just read the third book and oh my god everything is getting so freaking intense. I did end up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars because there were some annoying characters. <clears throat> Blake. <clears throat> want to kill that kid. And Katie was doing some annoying things. I just wanted Katie and Damon to be like, we like each other. Can we just get together already? Because like, that's what I've been waiting for. So that was the first book that I completed in April. And in April and May, I had two TBR challenges for them together. And that completed one of them, which was to read a New York Times bestseller. So the next two things that I read in April were two novellas, actually. If you watched my March wrap up, then you will have known that I started reading the Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy novellas. But I ended up reading number seven and number eight, which are Bitter of Tongue and The Fiery Trial. And I gave both of those five out of five stars. They were really good. I really think that as they went along, they got better. I still loved all of them, but these two were really good. So now moving on to May. In May, I read two full books, two novellas, and I also read just over half of another book, but I won't like go into any detail about that. I'll talk about it in my June wrap up. So the first book that I finished in the month of May was Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. Now I started this book a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it was like November. I started reading this right after I finished Frostbite and I don't know why, but okay, I loved Vampire Academy. I could get into that book so easily and I just fell in love with it. But when it came to Frostbite, it took me a really long time to get into it. And then eventually I just got into it, couldn't stop reading it. But now for some reason I can't read these books. I have to listen to them on audio because I find myself not being able to get into them every single time. I don't know why, but I'll pick it up and I'll start reading. So for the example, with this one, I got about 35 pages in and then I just couldn't go any further. I don't know why, but I just couldn't actually physically read it. But listening to the audiobook is really fun. I love these books. I actually really enjoy these books, but I don't know why. I just can't read them. But this book destroyed me. If you know the ending of this book, it's soul destroying. It's even more soul destroying is the fact that there are three more books after this one. So it's like, how, what is she gonna do next? And let me just tell you that Blood Promise, which is the fourth book, which is the book that I got halfway through this month, is soul destroying again. Like, I'm just, I'm crushed. She's crushed my soul into little, my, uh, my heart, not my soul. My soul was, my soul's been missing for a long time. My soul went missing when I started doing my A-levels, let's be real. She crushed my heart, that's what I meant. She crushed my heart into tiny pieces. I will say that this series is never gonna be my favorite series in the entire world, just because if I can't actually physically read it, then it's not gonna be my favorite series in the world. But I do love the characters and I love all the action. I'm not enjoying what's happening in Blood Promise right now. I'm not okay with that. And I'll give this book a four out of five stars. And the only reason I had knocked it down a star was because I found it really hard to get into. And the next book that I read was also continuing on a series and that was Opal by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I was gonna marathon this series completely and then I started reading Opal and it took me forever to get through. I was so frustrated and I feel like a lot of the time not enough action was happening. It was just too much of the same thing. I did enjoy it however I only gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars and so far it is my least favorite in the Lux series. And the next two things that I read during the month of May were two novellas again from the Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy series and those were Born to Endless Night and Angels Twice Descending which are the last two in the collection and I gave both of five out of five stars they were fantastic the second to last one was just so perfect i felt like we saw a completely different side to alec in that one and i absolutely loved it because i actually really like alec i didn't like him so much when i read the books the first time but i've really started to feel for him i don't know why but like it's just happened that i feel for alec and i like him maybe it's because matthew daddario plays him in the tv show which is one of the worst things i've ever seen in my entire life but he is not he is definitely not one of the worst things i've ever seen in my entire life and then the last one 
crushed my heart again. I wanted to cry so much. I didn't cry, but um, that's because I don't normally cry in books very much, but it was really upsetting. Anyway, so that's all that I read in the months of April and May. On to the haul. Now, I bought a lot of books. I had a few pre-orders in here, and then there were things that came in my YA Chronicles box, and just all sorts, and I'm gonna show you all of it right now. So the first book I have to show you is something I bought in the very beginning of April, because it was right after I finished the second book in this series. It was Lux Consequences, which is the second bind-up of the Lux series, next two books in the series. I really like this series. I definitely suggest you pick it up. The next book that I got in April was this is where the world ends by Amy Zhang. I got this in my YA Chronicles unboxing So if you missed that for April, I will link it down below. It is fluffy ish. It looks cool It's probably gonna be an emotional one just cuz it seems that way like it's got falling feathers That means it's emotional and the final book that I bought in April was actually a pre-order It was a paperback version of this book that came out in hardcover last year I have heard so many great things about it and that is more happy than not by Adam Silvera I'm in love with this paperback cover. It is beautiful. I'm really excited to start this book However, I know it's gonna be upsetting so I'm just you know waiting for a time when it's okay to be an emotional wreck Because I know that's gonna happen probably and we're moving on to May all of the books apparently come out in May So the first thing that I had on pre-order was a court of mist and fury by Sarah J. Matt Oh my god, this is one of my most anticipated books of the year because I fucking loved Akatar. This book is not for children. This is not a young adult. But if you don't know what A Court of Thrones and Roses is, I actually have a spoiler-free review up on my channel if you want to go check it out down below. I'm really excited to get to this. The next book that I have to show you was also a pre-order, and that is The Crown by Kira Cass. This is the fifth book in the selection series, which was originally a trilogy, then got turned into a series. I consider this as like a spin-off duology. I'm really excited to see how this one ends because there were some things that happened in the last book which I just can't deal with. I'm not emotionally ready to deal with it, but I need to deal with it because I need to know what happens. I'm really excited to see how this series concludes even though I didn't like the main character in the air. I'm sure there's gonna be something redeeming about this book. The next thing I got is something that's so unbelievably exciting for me because this is the first time that a publisher has sent me a book, like a physical book. I've been given books to review on Kindle before, I've been given books by the author before, but I've never been given a book by a publisher. For some of the bigger booktubers who get free books all the time, that probably seems a bit ridiculous, but the fact that like this publishing company now knows that I exist. They may not have seen my videos, but they know that I'm out there and they know that they'll be expecting a review video from me at some point. The book that I got for review is Deception Island by Bryn Kelly. I'm super excited to read this, not only because I received it for review, but also because it sounds cool. It's about this guy who has to go and capture an American heiress. I don't really know what she's an heiress to, but actually she's not who she says she is. And there's, I think there's gonna be some romance, a bit of Stockholm Syndrome up in here and it takes place on an island so I think this is gonna be the perfect read for summer even though it's like raining outside right now. If England actually has a summer, which I highly doubt, this book is gonna be perfect to read I think and it sounds really cool and just look at the cover, there's fire and island and sun. I'm really excited to read it. I was given this book as a host for the booktube tours and this book was given to me by Harlequin. There will be a review up on my channel for this on the 24th of June and I cannot wait. I was in a charity shop looking for some plant pots and I saw these three books. They're all adult books, so adult books are always more expensive. I think these were eight pounds a piece, original price, but I got each of them for one pound. The three books that I got were The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages, all by Brandon Sanderson. And these are the three books in the Mistborn trilogy. They're in the beautiful English covers, but I mean, they're not very beautiful because they're used, but like they're actually like in okay condition. And I don't mind because I got them for three pounds instead of 27. So the next book that I got was actually from my YA Chronicles May unboxing. I haven't posted that yet, I don't think, but I'll link it down below as soon as it goes up. And that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. I'm really excited to own this book, but I'm actually really excited to read this, and it's a floppy paperback. Ooh, emojis. The next book that I bought was also a pre-order, and that is The Last Star by Rick Yancey. When the movie came out, I decided to reread The Fifth Wave. I haven't actually read the reread The Infinite Sea yet, but I will be reading it before I read The Last Star, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to this, but I'm hoping to get to it soon because I'm really, really excited because I actually do like this series and I wanna see how it finishes. And as I said, I'm really bad at finishing series, so I just need to get on it. Little story time, I loved this book as a kid. I read it first when I was in grade five. I think I was nine or 10 when I first read it. I really loved it. It was one of my first like favorite books. I lent it out to a friend a couple years ago and she lent it out to my other friend and then somehow between the two of them they lost it. This was three years ago. About two years ago I asked them to replace it for me and neither of them did so I decided to just go ahead and buy my own copy because I just accepted the fact that I'm never getting that copy back and that is Goodnight Mr. Tom by Michelle Magorian. I'm really annoyed because this book did not come in the cover that I saw on Amazon but it was used so I just thought why not. I loved this book when I was younger and I actually reread it a couple years ago and then I lent it to my friend because I was like oh 
all I've just reread this book from my childhood and it was perfect so you should read it too it is so emotional it's set in World War II it's just the sweetest story it's so emotional though seriously grab a box of tissues before you read this this book is but this book is so good and definitely worth a read I do think everyone should read this book finally 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 the last book that I bought in the month of May this is actually ridiculous how many books I bought was Me Before You by Jojo Moyes I was watching my favorite talk show the other day which is the Graham Norton show and Amelia Clark was on it who plays the main character in this so I decided that I was just gonna pick this up because she was talking about how the book is actually really funny and I've heard so many people say so many good things about this book so I'm super excited to read this even though I know I'm gonna cry so this was the final book that I bought these were all of the books that I bought slash read in the month of May and April, in the months of April and May. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I need to go and get ready because I'm going to a festival really soon. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon for another video. Bye. To talk about to you about that I have read during these months, months, during these months, fuck my life. So, words. And uh, uh, I don't want to ruin my books. Ah! I'm sorry books. Don't don't hate me. Please survive this.